Barnabies. Hello. So today is a tutorial day. Yay. I'm, I'm getting into tutorial mo mode, so this is going to be good. It's mostly going to be hats, but uh, I'm just so happy that I'm going to be able to do this. So anyways, today is going to be the Oceans Away hat. Now this can be a hat for either a man or a woman. Um, I'm going to be using landscapes. And you can use any any four weight yarn, but uh, I, I prefer landscapes. Um, the colors are pretty neutral, I think. There's a little bit of purple, but I don't think that matters too much. So anyways, this is Landscapes, and it is 100% acrylic. There's 147 yards, 134 meters in there. It's a medium four. Uh, it suggests a 6.5 hook, but I'm going to be using a six. Um, and the colorway is Blue Lagoon. Okay. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, okay, so first of all, we're going to start with our magic circle. This is how I do a magic circle. I do have a video tutorial on a magic circle that I will link. Um, but you do, you do you, you do your circle the way you want to. I usually just wrap it around twice on my finger, put my hook underneath, grab the other one and pull it through. And then you just loop over and pull through one. And there's your loop. You just take your finger out and there you go. Okay, now, oh, <laughs> the cat and dog are playing. Um, okay, so now you're going to chain one and you're going to do 10 double crochets in the circle. Okay, so you're going to go pull through, pull through two, pull through one. That's your double crochet. Yarn over, go through the loop, pull up, pull through two, pull through one. Now I'm going to assume that you already know how to do this part, so just go ahead and finish your ten double crochets in the, in the center, and I will meet with you when you're done. Okay, now we're at the end of our magic circle, our 10 in our magic circle. I'm just going to finish the last one. And then we're going to slip stitch in the top of the first beginning chain, or uh, first beginning double crochet, I mean, and then chain two. Okay, and then you take your cord, your, um, your string here and you pull it to tighten up. Now be careful with this yarn. This yarn tends to rip really if you pull it too hard. So because it is um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah it will rip when if you do do it too hard. So okay. All right, so now we're going to do two double crochets in each stitch around. This is going to be your basic beanie beginning. Um, I always do mine starting with 10 uh, double crochets in the circle. Okay, we're going to go into the same stitch that this double crochet is in. Oops, get my little thing. So right in there. That's the the, the same stitch, or the same, yeah, the same stitch that you just chained up, and we're going to do a double crochet. Okay, so you've got two double crochets in the same, st same stitch. Okay, now you're going to move to your next stitch, and you're going to do two double crochets. 
that's one, two. Okay, see that? And you're gonna do this all the way around and you should have 20 double crochets when you're done. Okay, I'm at the end now. I've just got one double crochet left to do. There. Okay, now you should have 20. Let's count. There's two, the two that you began with. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, and twenty. Okay, and then you're gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain, that first chain you did, and there's your second row. Okay. Okay, now you're gonna chain up two. Again, you're always gonna start this part, the, the first part of the beanie, you're always gonna start with one in the same stitch. So, you're going to put one double crochet in the same stitch as your chain up. Okay. Now you're going to do one double crochet in the next stitch. Two double crochets in the next stitch. one double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochet in the next stitch. You seeing a pattern? You're going to do that all the way around to the end and I will see you there. Okay so we're just about at the end. I just have a couple more stitches to do. Um, so that's one two. Okay, now with, with this, the way I do it is when you start with two on this side, you're going to always end with just one stitch on the other, or at least that's the way it should be. But what I have to do is, see this little space right here? I count that and that's where my last stitch goes. Okay, it's kind of like a false stitch, I guess. So, I always put my, oops, my last stitch in there. Right there. Okay. So you should have 30 stitches by the end of this row. And then you're going to slip stitch into the top and chain two. Okay, so now in row four, same thing, you're going to go into the same stitch and do a double crochet. Okay, now you're going to do two single crochets in between the stitches. So you're going to go one in the next, one in the next, and two in the next. Okay, see? Two, one, one, two. Okay, one in the next, oops, whoops, <laughs> yarn over, one in the next, one in the next, two in the next, Okay, and then you're going to continue that all the way around to the end. And I will see you there. Okay, so we're at the end of this row now. 
And I've only got two more stitches left. So one. And then remember that false stitch right there. And go in there. So you should have so 10, 20, 30, 40 stitches in this um, in this row. Okay, now you're going to slip stitch into that top stitch and chain two. Okay, now you're going to go into that same stitch right here. Do a double crochet. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Trying to get my yarn out here. <laughs> okay. So now you're going to do three in between. Are you seeing a little bit of a pattern here? You're going to go through one, sing uh, one double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch one double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet in the next stitch. Okay. One double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. And I have not. <laughs> and two double crochet in the next stitch. Okay. There you go. So it's two, one, 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 two. One, 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 two. So you've got three single crochets in between your double crochet stitches. Okay, so we're at the end, <clears throat> excuse me, we're at the end of the row. The sun just came out and it's blinding me, so I'm hoping I can actually see this. Um, okay, so we've got three stitches left. So one, two, remember that false stitch and remember you're always going to end on a single stitch. It, if you end up coming here and you go one, two, three and then you've got two, you've done something wrong. You have to go back and take a look. So there you go. You should have 50 stitches at the end of this row. And then you're going to slip stitch to the top and chain two. Okay. So now, you guessed it, we're going to do four in between. Okay, so now we go one into the same stitch as your chain. Oh, sorry, it's my phone. Then you're going to go one double crochet in the f next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. Okay. Two, one, two, three, four, and two. Okay, so let's do that again. One double crochet in the next stitch. 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 It should be four. One, two, three, four, yep. And two double crochets in the next stitch. Okay. Okay, I'm 
I'm at the end of my row. I have four stitches left to do. So it's one, two, three, and the false stitch. That's right there. Okay, and then I believe 10, 20, 30, 40, you should have, <coughs> excuse me, you should have 60 stitches. Okay, and you slip stitch to join, and chain two. Okay. Okay, now you're going to do the exact same thing, except you're going to go in that stitch, the same stitch, oops, same stitch as the other chain. Now you're going to do five. You're going to do one in the next, or one double crochet in the next, I mean. <laughs> one double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, one double crochet in the next, and one double crochet in the next. That should be five. So there's your two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Now you're going to do your two double crochet in the next. Okay? And we'll do that again. One double crochet in the next. 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 And one double crochet in the next. Okay, there's your two stitches right there. One, two, three, four, five. And then you do your two double crochets in the same stitch. One, two. Okay. Okay, we're at the end of this row, and I've got five more stitches to do. So one, two, three, four, and then into that false stitch, five. Okay, and slip stitch to join and two, and chain two. Okay, now this is going to be the end of our increasing row. So this next round is going to be, whoops, fairly easy. Okay. So now you don't have to, from this point on, you do not have to go into the same stitch as your chain. You just go into the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to do a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so go on the next stitch, double crochet. Next stitch, double crochet. Okay, and then so now you don't have to think about it. You just double crochet in each stitch. Okay, easy peasy. Okay, so you're going to do that, and I will meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. Now, with this row and every row after this, you are not going to go into that false stitch. Okay, you're just going to bypass that. And you're going to go into the top of your 
um, the first chain and slip stitch. Okay, and then chain two. At this point, oops, at this point your hat should be curving. Okay. Okay, so that's what are we on? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the eighth row. Okay, so now for row nine. Okay, this one hopefully isn't going to be hard to. Um, oh, I'm going to bring you in a little bit here. I'm going to bring you in real close. Now we're going to do a double crochet in the third loop. Okay, it's kind of in between these stitches right here. If you flip it over, there it is. Okay, so here's your stitch front loop, back loop, third loop. See that? Right there. That's the one that we're going to be working into. Front loop, back loop, third loop, right there. Okay, now you can do a double crochet. Pull it up, and then do your double crochet. I'm going to pull you out just a little bit more just so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Maybe I was too close. Okay, yarn over. Now you're going to go into your next stitch. Front loop, back loop, oops, third loop. Pull these apart and you'll see it right there. Okay. Oops. It can be a bit fiddly. There you go. I'm trying to look into the camera and do this at the same time. It's not working. And then do your double crochet. Okay. So let's try that again. There's your front loop. There's your back loop. God. Let's try. <laughs> front loop. Back loop. Third loop. Right there. Okay, and you're going to pull your yarn through and do your double crochet. And what this is going to do is it's going to show a ridge, like a 3D kind of ridge there. Okay, so let's try that again. Front loop, back loop. third loop right there. I really hope I'm showing this okay. Okay. Let's see if I can do it this way. Okay. There's your stitch. Pull them apart and you'll be able to see it. Okay, front loop, back loop, pull it apart, third loop, right there. Okay, so we're going to keep going and doing that all the way around. If you have to, just stick your finger in there a little bit. And there it is. Boom. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and do that all the way around, and I will meet you at the end. There you go. Now you're going to find your first stitch on the top of that chain going to do a slip stitch and chain two. And there you go.
If you look at here, you can see that ridge all the way around. This is kind of sunk in a little bit. Okay. And I think you should have 70 stitches on that row. So now you're going to do a tri triple front post double crochet. Okay. So you're going to yarn over twice. You're going to go in underneath that first stitch. Okay, so you're going to put your um, your hook underneath that first stitch. Yarn over, pull through that one stitch. Okay, now you're going to have four um, four loops on your stitch. You're going to yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. Pull through two. Now you're gonna have two on your on your hook. Pull over and pull through two. Okay. So we're gonna do that again. Yarn over. Go underneath the next stitch. Yarn over. Pull through that stitch. Now you're gonna have. Oops, did that wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yarn over twice. Put your hook underneath that stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch. Now you're going to have four um, stitches on your hook, or four loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Now you're going to have two more. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so now you're going to do that again. Yarn over twice. Go underneath that stitch. Yarn over, pull through that stitch. You're going to have four on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay. One more. Yarn over twice. Go underneath that next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Okay? And then you're just going to keep doing that all the way around. Now we'll meet you back at the end. Oh. Okay, now you're going to go to the top of that last. I'm sorry there's a glare right here because uh, I've got the sun shining in here now. So, um, so you're going to go in the top of your la first chain and slip stitch. Okay, so there you go. Isn't that nice? Okay, now you're going to chain two. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat these two rows. Okay, so this last row where you're doing it in the third loop, you're going to repeat that row. Okay, there it is, right there. Boom. So you're going to pull through and do your double crochet. Yarn over, go in the back. It's kind of hard for me to do this here. Um, where are we here? Right there. Boom. It's right in your face. Okay, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, and pull through and just do your double crochet, your regular double crochet. Okay, flip it over, boom, there it is, right there. 
Okay. And then do your, oops, do your double crochet. Okay. Flip it over. And boom. There it is right there. And do your double crochet. Okay, we're at the end of the row. So now you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch and chain two. Okay, now you're going to have your couple of rows there. Now you're going to repeat the um, the triple front a uh, triple front post double crochet. Okay, so again. You're going to yarn over twice. Oops, I'm going to bring you out just a little bit here. There you go. Yarn over twice. And then you're going to go into this stitch. Now you're going to know exactly where which stitch you're supposed to be in because it's going to be in line with the last stitch that you did that row. Okay. So you're going to go around that post. Yarn over. Pull through. You're gonna have four on your hook on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay? Yarn over twice. Okay. Go on the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You're gonna have four on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. Yarn over twice, go in the next underneath the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay. And then you're going to just keep going all the way around. Now from this point on, the pattern is just a repeat of those two, um, those two rows. So it's, um, yeah, you can do it as long as you want. Depends on how slouchy you want the hat to be. And uh, so that's totally up to you. Um, the majority of my hats, I, oops, <laughs> I give you, you know, I give you enough of an easy, an easy enough pattern that it can be either a beanie or a slouchy. So, um, so that's kind of nice. It's a versatile, they're, they're versatile patterns, right? So, um, yeah, so you just continue going and doing the stitch all the way around. So then you're going to see this, you get the ridge, and then you get the, the rows of triple crochet. And uh, it's a really neat pattern when you're done. Okay, so I'm going to let you continue going and doing all these rows and uh, do as many rows as you need. And I will meet you at the end. Okay, so remember after this row, then you're going to do your row of... Um, putting your double crochets third in the hook, a third in the loop. And then you're going to do another one of triple crochets and then another one of the third in the back loop, right? And you just continue going on like that. Okay? And I will meet you when you are done. Okay. Um so what happened was I ran out of my landscapes. Now you need to remember when you are doing a slouchy or if you're making your hat bigger you're probably going to need two balls of the landscape which I didn't have. So I'm just taking a ball that I have of um, Charisma 
to finish this off. Okay, the next, I did um, 18 rows all together. So the last two rows are going to be the, br the brim. Okay, so all I did was, and before I did my last stitch to join, oops, I attached my charisma to my yarn and cut my yarn. Okay. And I just put a knot right there just to make sure that it doesn't come apart. Okay, now you're going to do your slip stitch to join. Oops. Okay. Now I like to take my two ends and carry it with me just so I can weave them in. So you're going to <coughs> chain up two. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do a front post and back post. Okay. So you're going to take your hook around the first stitch and you're going to pull through, yarn over and pull through the first one. Then you're going to do your double crochet. It's really hard to see with this black yarn and I'm so sorry. Yarn over. Now you're going to go into the back and go into, oops, let's see if I can do this here. Take this out. Okay, there's the stitch that you just went around. The next stitch you're going to go around the back of it. Okay. So push my things aside. You're going to go into the back of that stitch and go around and then do your double crochet. Okay. Now this is kind of hard to see with the um, the black. The next one you're going to go around the front post and double crochet. Don't worry about this right now. I'm just going to take it and cut it off. Okay, now you're going to go around this post but in the back. See, right there. Okay. You're going to yarn over and pull through. Oops. Yarn over and pull through. So you're going to have your three on there. And then you're going to do your double crochet. Okay, yarn over over your, underneath your first one, pull through and do your double crochet. Yarn over, go in the back of that stitch, yarn over and pull it through and double crochet. Yarn over, in the front of this loop, pull through and we'll double crochet. Okay. Okay. And that's what it should start to look like. Okay, now you're going to do that for two rows. Okay, I'm at the end of this row and you're just going to slip stitch to join and to tie off. You're just going to cut your yarn and pull it through and pull it tight. Okay, then you can get a darning needle. And weave in your ends. 
And don't forget to weave in the end inside as well, where you did your magic circle. And I just put my needle in wherever. And uh, it's very forgiving when you're using black because you can't see it. So, you know, you just take it and put it wherever you need to to weave in that end. There. And then you just cut your yarn. And that one's done. And there is your hat. Ta-da! Pretty, eh? I will show it to you on. So I hope you liked this tutorial. I really enjoyed doing it with you. And uh, stay tuned for more because there's going to be a lot more tutorials now that winter is here. I've got lots of hats to do. Okay, so we'll talk to you guys later. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye!